Still there? Oh, he's definitely there. He's booking it. Oh! And I missed him by a long shot. Holy. Oh no, he's, he was swimming at me. Oh gosh. Never mind. I thought I missed by. I don't think I even set the hook into him. Welcome back, everybody. So. Today we had to run it back uh, from the mild success that we had last time and go out and actually specifically try and target some of these catfish. So hopefully we have, I guess, more luck than we did last time. It wasn't too bad for only using one rod and not even fishing for all that long. But nevertheless, let's get after it. So one thing I did not explain all that great last time was the rig that I was using. Mostly that's because we were walleye fishing and not cat fishing. But nevertheless, where we're fishing has a ton of big rock and boulder. Um, so you end up losing a ton of rigs that just get stuck down there. One way to kind of prevent that is basically just your Carolina rig. And I use a sliding uh, swivel here that is attached to a little bit of a dropper uh, mono leader to your sinker. It helps keep off those rocks just a little bit. And if anything, you're going to get real hung up, um, you're probably just going to lose your sinker. So it helps lose a lot uh, fewer rigs, and I think that's been wildly beneficial. The other thing I'll do in this time, like fishing this sort of situation, is using a pegged float. Um, again, it just kind of keeps that bait out of the rocks, a little bit easier for the catfish to find, and it'll obviously keep your hook out of the rocks, preventing, you know, as many breakoffs. So both those things have helped me out quite a bit. Uh, still there? Oh, he's definitely there. He's booking it. Oh! And I missed him by a long shot. Holy. Oh no, he's, he was swimming at me. Oh gosh. Never mind. I thought I missed by, I don't think I even set the hook into him. I must have picked up the bait and swam towards shore. I basically set into a bunch of slack. That would be an absolutely perfect eater if we were eating. Oh, buddy. Oh, not what we were after. After much, much bigger, but that would be a perfect eater. Two, maybe three pounder, probably two and a half, right in the middle. Not too shabby. Let's get some more. That was pretty, pretty quick. Man, I really did set the hook and I just thought there was absolutely nothing there. I didn't have any weight. Oh, he's hauling. Oh my gosh. He's moving. There, he's still got it. Oh, did I miss him? Oh, oh. Again. He must just straight up run towards shore. Those are some weird bites. Where are you? You go straight sideways? Oh, there he is. That's a little bit better one. A little bit more respectable. So you can't get get down here still a, a little bit big for an eater size but not bad probably a, about a five pounder <sighs> oh a good one we will go ahead and we'll get a picture of him and let him go I feel like we're gonna catch many more 
yet tonight with how it's been going so look at the big old tail on that thing not a big fish but that is yet a ginormous tail all right we'll let them go they're coming out though let's get some more i think i'd be greedy to say i want double digits but we're on our way Still playing with it. He's touching it. Just eat it. <laughs> eat it. Come on, buddy. Oh, I, oh, he's got it. Got him. <laughs> Felt that pop. Uh, much bigger than the other ones we've got. This is what we're after. Oh. Whenever they roll, I'm never sure if they come off. Not a big one. Bigger one we've caught for sure. I don't know. I don't think that's a double digit. Probably pretty close, but. Oh, come on. Come on. Open up. There we go. Definitely bigger than the rest. I got them twice. Big old making her noises. That's a good one. Not as big as they get though. Still usually catching them a little bit bigger than that. Go ahead and take a quick picture. Let this one go. Let this fat girl go. And she's off. Let's get another one. They're out tonight. We finally had a tiny bit of warmer weather. I mean, relatively. It was still barely upper 40s, but they are out biting. Same rod. Oh, he's still there. Oh, he's got it. That feels a little bit better. Or we just got. Uh, might be about the same. It just didn't come with the rod as soon as I set the hook. Oh no. That's good. But that's another one. That's probably another eater size. We're catching a smaller average than kind of what we normally do. Come on, buddy. Open up. Smaller average size. First, oh. Oh, he's clamping down. They have got some teeth on them, that's for sure. That is a perfect eater, maybe a little bit large for what I like to eat. That's probably right around five, but maybe a schmidge below. But you most certainly could eat him. Looks clean too. He's got a hold of my thumb right now. So we will let him go softly. He is tummied up though. They all are sitting on the bottom bottom and you can tell down there a lot of mud 
Let's let him go softly. I don't want to tear up my thumb. Let we go. There you go. There. All right. Set the hook on that one. It did not come easily. I thought it was going to be a big one, but that one seems to be the hot rod for right now. Let's go ahead and again nowhere on any of the line from those rocks down there which is great a lot less time that we have to spend tying hooks and whatnot let's get another one out there again the same rod eat it he's got it there he goes oh This fighting a little bit more. Head shakes. Ah, about the same size. No, well, he's actually a little bit smaller, to be honest. Oh, he was hooked funny. That's why. Was it uh, was not hooked in the mouth. I'm sure he tried to bite, but how did you get hooked underneath? That's the smallest one by far. Uh, I don't know how you got hooked in a gill. That don't make sense at all. Uh, all right, we'll get him back real quick. He's got some got some parasites going on in those fins. Ugh. I don't know if you guys can see that real well. Ugh. No, thank you. All of his fins. Oh, even his tail. Ooh. All right, buddy. You're strange enough. That's probably why you ended up getting hooked in a gill. All right. On to the next one. Hopefully bigger. I move the rods over get a little bit closer to the rest because only one seemed to have bites that one. this is a little bit lighter action rod so I don't know if it's bigger or not but it feels bigger on a smaller rod that's for sure A little bit better. Not a big one yet. Oop. Open up, buddy. That one, this one looks rough. The whiskers are kind of torn. Ah. That's the first one that swallowed it just a little bit. So we'll have to grab some pliers. The rest have all been hooked perfectly in the side, so. We'll get some pliers. That's not a bad one. It's long. It's not nearly as fat as some of the other ones, but we'll get some pliers, get them unhooked, and let them go. Let this one go. This one's kind of, his face is kind of beat up. Whiskers kind of beat up. A little rough fish, but let him go. Well, that's it for today. Um, fishing has slowed down quite drastically. Uh, we're having bites every 15 to 20 minutes and it's been it's been well over 45 since our last bite so that'll be about it for today i was optimistic for getting double digits initially um and we were definitely on pace for that but again uh fishing slowed down quite a bit but i am quite happy with the number of fish that we caught um smaller than average size for out here but um not by much and if i guess you were keeping to eat uh they were perfect size so um, but nevertheless, if you guys like the video, if you wouldn't mind liking, and if you want to see more videos like it, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that'd be greatly appreciated also. Till the next one.